This is Tainted Grail Conquest. This is a roguelite strategy-like card sort of game. So, I've gone through some of the settings here. And I think that we are all good and we are playing on ultra settings. All of the most beautiful graphics possible. And the controls. Now, I haven't really played much of this game, but we'll learn it together. Start with a male. <laughs> ah, excuse me. Give him that dark complexion. Let's give him uh, some. Uh... Oh, he's got a little man bun. <laughs> I like the warrior ponytail. Let's look at the facial hair here. Oh my god, look at these beautiful beards. Yes, yes, give us the braided beard. Ah, yes, give us the really big beard. There you go, that'll keep us warm. Oh shit. Yeah, there we go. Nice colored hair. Some fucking war paint on us, man. Yes, there we go. Uh, gear customization will be unlocked after the tutorial. Okay. Start the game. Provide your character a name. Let's call him, uh... Martin. Crack. Ah, uh, three characters short. All right, let's call him Troy. Runs in each run will be a different adventure. You will encounter different patterns of enemies, characters, and locations each time you play. Okay. King Arthur. Promised us safety on these shores. Instead, we found stormy seas, rocks like shark teeth, and treacherous mists. Those few who managed to land will be set by hunger, cold, and nightmares born of weirdness. My people settled around a gnarled old statue. Though we did not understand its origin or purpose, the enemy seemed to avoid it. That was good enough. For a time. In the end, the winds of weirdness only grew stronger, and the statue failed to protect the settlement. There was fear, despair, and then... nothingness. As reality melted around us. You awake to nothingness. All you can sense is darkness. A dense mass of emptiness so total that even your thoughts disintegrate. Then you hear whistling. An eternity seems to pass before something materializes in the darkness with you. Something angry. Damn it, you weren't supposed to land here. Damn it all to hell. <laughs> the creature pauses for a moment, clearly weighing up some options. He taps a finger against one of his horns. Now, listen, there's a lot to do and no time to waste. What can we try? Uh... Fuck's uh, going so on? You can speak and yes, these are really great questions. No easy answers though. Sorry to disappoint. Now, listen closely. Are you ready? Brace yourself. Because what I'm going to tell you is rather important. You're gone. 
Your village is gone. Everything you've ever known is gone. Yes, everything and everyone, including your very own self, as I mentioned already, however. The creature taps two hooves together, marking a dramatic pause. There is a small chance, an infinitesimally tiny chance, really, to bring it all back. Oh, oh, I have to click. Okay. You were saved from death in order to keep your reality from falling apart. But, well, it's not going to be easy. First, we must ensure that you're in good enough condition to actually do anything. Which brings us to the problematic part. Your body. You squint down at your feet and hands in the darkness. They seem perfectly fine. Oh, no. Oh, goodness me, no. That's just an illusion. I had to get you here somehow, didn't I? Otherwise, you'd start talking about the afterlife and whatnot. And this, my friend, is not an afterlife. This is a total mess. But let's see what we can do. Here, this little trick should get us started at least. Okay. Seems like our uh, selection is pretty limited to Weird Hunter. Child of Morrigan. Morrigan from Dragon Age. Base damage 8 to 12, weird hunters focus on dealing as much damage as possible using quick strikes or powerful blows. Weird hunters call upon the beast of the weirdness to deal massive amounts of damage to an enemy. Depending on the number of charges they spend, they charge their ultimate ability by landing hits on enemies. Okay, simple enough, so this is kind of like a class where I... Every hit leaves them vulnerable. So I'm guessing that we... Hit them a bunch of times, and then we use the big beast for a giant hit, right? Well, it seems your soul isn't strong enough to be picky about its vessel yet. Don't worry, you'll grow. Now, we need to see whether my little trick actually worked. The goat weaves his fingers in an intricate series of gestures. With a final flourish, he conjures a terrifying creature into the emptiness. Aha, here we go. This is a powerful Avalonian warlock. But don't worry, he's not really here. Not in the truest sense. Your goal here is simple. Fight. Show me that you've got what it takes. Whoa, 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 wait, should we start small, the goat man? I just got this game. I don't want to play on extreme difficulty yet. Oh man, look at my dude's back. A beautiful back. This is we fucking fighting four armed Goro here. Okay. This enemy performs regular attacks, buffs itself, and occasionally summons minions to its side. This enemy intends to use a normal attack. Cards are drawn from here at the start of each turn. Cards are shown in random order. Cards are shuffled into your draw pile after it runs out. Okay, so I guess we drain all of the cards from here and we can see what's left. And then, once per round, deal one hit for one damage? This motherfucker's got 1,250 health? What the f What kind of shitty ultimate is that? Oh, I guess the goat was right out. Uh, Bro, but damn it, man! Armor? Cards 
cards placed here. After it's played, these cards are moved into your discard pile at the end of each turn. Okay, so I understand the graveyard. Exile. These cards are removed from your deck until the end of combat. Exception. Ability cards get back to your hand each turn. So what's an ability card? This one's red and this one's blue. These blue ones are like defensive ones. So I guess red means offense? Oh, attack and then stance. Okay, yeah, red is offense. A single instance of damage dealt. Okay. So it says the enemy wants to attack. Oh! Hunter marks. Every hit you deal leaves a hunter mark. Four hunter marks make enemies vulnerable. Uh, vulnerable. Effect that doubles the damage received from any source. Ah, got it. So we'll beat the enemy up, charge up our ultimate, and then the timing for it is when they're vulnerable, so then we beast rush. So I guess we'll block his attack. Blocks the next one incoming hits by default. Lasts for only one turn. How many times is he gonna swing? Just once, right? Ah, blocked it. Pay close attention to enemy intents. Hovering on them will tell you what they want to do in their turn. Well, last time it said it's just one axe, but it's two times ten. Does that mean he's gonna attack twice? This enemy will attack with two hits. One block will protect you from only one hit. Maybe you have a better card to use in this situation. I don't know. It might be the glowing one that's right here. Stun. Okay, so yes, that is right. So the blue cards are defensive. Uh, stun, an effect preventing an enemy from form performing any actions in the next turn. Use this effect on an already stunned enemy to reduce its armor by 25. So he's not gonna attack me. I'll just fucking whack him, huh? Eh. enemy intends to use a normal attack, so it's back to the single attack, so we just block once. So they're vulnerable now. And incoming damage plus 100%. 16 to 24, so yeah, it does say it's doubled. Ah, slap that ass. Guess we can end our turn. Yeah, we blocked it. The enemy is preparing for a special attack. Small strikes. Deal three hits for four to six to random enemies. So even if we hit for minimum damage every time, it would be 12. So small strikes is much better. But we could potentially hit for more, up to 18. Does that count as... So, let's see if this gives three marks from man. Oh, it does! It marked him in damn near instantly. Yeah! Slap that ass! Fucking do it again. Wait a minute. Now, it's saying it's a special attack. Does that mean... 
like how many blocks do I have left to draw two so it's pretty likely I'm gonna get my guard right and it gets discarded anyways right There's a timer that says one there. I'm not sure if it means the special attack is this turn or next turn. I'm assuming next turn. Right? So I'm just gonna fucking smack him. Ultimate ability 12 to 18, so it's a little bit more. It's about the same damage as a full charge small strike, right? Damage 150%. Okay, so it's basically the same damage as a normal attack. We don't have any defensive abilities, and he's about to use the uh, strong attack. And if I were to use that block last, so I guess we're just gonna have to eat a fucking hit, because we don't. Well, that RNG might be frustrating. But I'm assuming that since we've got, like, decks of cards and shit, we can kind of optimize it, right? So I just. I'm just gonna fucking slap the shit out of him. Yeah, there we go. Slap him on the ass. Oh, this is gonna hurt! Ah, oh, That's half our fucking health. Remember to stock up on combat items and use them often. Some tales them will make the difference between life and death. How do I use the potion? Oh, you have to fucking right click. There we go. Okay, so he's gonna attack twice, so I need to defend twice, right? Block, block. Two incoming hits. Oh, energy. Energy. Used to play skills. Current energy, ZR out of 3. Okay. Nice. This enemy intends to buff. So what are we going to do about that? Can I... Okay. 100% incoming damage. So... Can I... 80 to 120 damage. Yeah, let's fucking hit him hard. Ugh! Got him. The enemy buffed its armor by 10. This means your attacks will deal 10% less damage. Always pay attention to icons on the enemy health bars. So we could use some armor ourselves. But since we can block, we can completely nullify. He's gonna swing twice, so I wanna guard both of those. All right, so our defenses are settled. And now overhead swing. Deal one hit for three to five. Reduce the enemy's armor by ten. And I'm guessing because those that that three to five is red, that means our damage is reduced on this attack. So it would normally do more. Yeah, eight to seven. It was eight to twelve before, so. That's it. 
he's set up at three hunter marks now. Enemy intends to use a strong attack for 40 damage. This stun is the only thing we've got. Is it? Can we overhead swing him and make his armor negative? Yes, we can. This enemy intends to summon an ally. Not on my watch, motherfucker. So wait, 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 wait. Can we, like, make his armor go super negative? Four to seven? So they actually start taking extra damage. Yes! Fuck yes! This enemy intends to use a weak attack. This enemy performs regular attacks. Base damage 5 to 5. Base damage 5 to 5. This dude's gonna use a normal attack, so we need to get rid of the fuck buddies here. So this is random enemies. But I can target one of them with the overhead swing. It's the same damage as this. It's not worth debuffing those other dudes. They're only 10 life. So let's see if we can... Ooh! Yes! Okay. Okay. One's dead. We hit one of... We only hit the extra enemies, so... Let's try again. We only need to hit that other dude, like, one time. Yes! Okay. Uh, and now we block. I'd like to think that this is random and this tutorial isn't scripted, but I can actually see somebody clicking the wrong things here, because it didn't make me click anything specific. Um, this enemy intends to buff. Okay. So can we just... Ah! Blah blah! Who wabata, motherfucker? I know Wu Te whoop your ass. Alright? I trained with this sword for 10,000 years. Enemy has created a barrier. Attacking it won't count as a hit, however, other effects of your cards, like armor reduction, will work. Oh, it doesn't count as a hit. Okay. Mm. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Okay, we want to mark him, or something like that first. Jesus Christ, he's going in. He's going in with these fucking multi-hits. Stun him. He's got three hunter marks. Last tip, you're on, and you're on your own. Make the enemy vulnerable and play this ability card, then hit him with a fully charged ultimate. He intends the buff. Okay, so 
So I was right. They they like weaken them up, get them ready, and then smack the heaven loving shit out of them. Okay. So we've got his armor sundered. So he takes extra damage. Uh so we wanna We wanna We got three energy, so let's slap him on the ass. Then let's buff up broad reach. And then Smack him one more time. And then... Boom! How much damage was that? That was a lot! Okay, so... Two attacks. It's blocked twice. Overhead the shit out of him. Four attack. Yes, stun. The stun is here. Thank God. Do that first before anything else. Ability returns to your hand every turn. Wow. Okay. Alright. Uh, he's got a normal attack, okay? So, block. That'll take care of that. Let's, let's keep debuffing his armor, because he's gonna keep trying to buff that shit up. And small strikes. There we go. Nice. The enemy intends to buff. This, why don't we just stun him and stop him from buffing? Because we have to do like multiple overheads and the stun's gonna go away anyways, so... There we go. Oh shit, four attacks! Oh, it's gonna hurt. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Two attacks. Some attacks are going to get through unless I stun him again. Okay, so overhead swing, we can keep debuffing his resistance. If we do small strikes, we're getting ready for another big attack. Small strikes will get us the damage that we need. Overhead swing will help us get ready for the giant attack and we're playing the long game. Fuck it. This is this is a big fight. Let's Let's go for the long game here. And get his armor down nice and low. Okay, he plans to attack two times. Block. Twice. And another overhead. There we go. We're getting our damage up there now. He intends to buff, stun him, so we can stop that. And small strikes again. Alright, there we go. Here we go. Uh, he's gonna attack like four fucking times. Oh god. At this point, it should I be worried about him hitting me? Oh no. I'm just gonna fucking go for it. Overhead, debuff the even more. Right. Small strikes. Attack 
attack him. Oh my god. He intends the buff, and I intend to destroy! Broad reach. Overhead. And let's destroy him! Ah! He's almost down. Uh, block his attack. Fuck it, this. Nah. We could keep overheading him, but I think it's time to just fucking expend. He's gonna attack twice. It's stunning. Small strikes again. Uh, block, small strikes, attack. Yes! I didn't even think we were supposed to beat that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm impressed. I didn't expect that. Have you been here before and I just didn't recognize you? Anyway, after that performance, I'll assume you don't need any more direction. So, I'll send you to your destination. Your main objective for now will be to... Push forwards, survive, kill the four guardians, then we'll talk. Oh, whoa, 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 slow down a second. Listen, it's been four years since humans landed on these shores. Four years of strife, fear, and hunger. At least that's what you tell yourselves. And four years of war you are destined to lose, because even the mightiest human wizards are no match for the Avalonians. Seeing your expression, it makes an impatient grimace. Stepping from one foot to the other. The war you brought here? Well, it wasn't exactly going in your favor. But then that wizard, Merlin? Well, he had an idea. Your king, Arthur, he had another brilliant idea. Both stubborn mules, both playing with powers they didn't understand and were never meant to understand. And so we're here. In this corrupted reality, strung together with the last strand of somebody's goodwill. Okay, items. Oh, we can move around like... Ooh. Can I just move with the WAs? Yes, I can. Woo! Slayer. Where your hometown once was, a lone man sits among the remains. 
He doesn't notice you. Only when you walk right up to him, he turns his blank stare toward you. It's not my farm hold, is it? I'm from up north, the land of fog. I... I don't know what happened. At least that's one thing you have in common. A creature that looked like a goat told me I'd wake up in a strange place, and that I'd find someone in need of my help there. The man looks at you for a moment. I've already made some preparations and settled in one of the tents here. I can't offer you much at the moment, though. This place is... different. And you? I've seen an enormous creature out there. A golem of stone. The evil energy it emits is beyond anything I've ever felt. I'd say getting rid of that beast would be a good start. All right. So I gotta kill a big fat ass golem. I have to use the mouse. I have to like right click with the mouse to like look around. I hope that the things in this game aren't like super reaction. Right now, this building is an abandoned ruin. However, during your travels, you might find someone who'd be willing to settle in here and help you with your quest. Right now, this building. Uh, right now. Okay, I'm thinking that all of these buildings are gonna say the same thing. It's this way. Can't go that way. Uh, buy a healing mixture. Quest card for your journey. I don't remember, and I don't know what I'm doing here, or how I got here. All I know is I'm supposed to be helping you with your quest. All I know for now is that you need to find the rest of the people who are supposed to join us and help them out in their troubles. I don't know. Maybe it will come back? Maybe there's something that could trigger my memories. Hmm. Okay. Rest. Oh, ask to be healed. One left. Seems that we don't have a lot of money for anything right now. Oh, wait, what was that? What's this tree thing? fuck is that? I don't like that. Why is everything all fucking blurry? It's not because of the graphics, is it? Good. I caught you oh. before you went out all and you're lonesome. Our mutual friend already told you to slay the stone golem. Perfect. The golem is just a start, though. Even if you do manage to kill it, the further you go, the more dangerous the road will become. And since we're talking roads, you're walking within the weirdness now, and it's dangerous. Take these candles, light them up, and try not to let this damned fog close around you. Got it? Oh. And before you face the golem, look around the area. There's a blacksmith nearby who might be willing to join your village. Finding people like him will be crucial for your survival. Each one will be helpful in a different way. And with that, I'm out. Good luck. Okay, thanks, Mr. Goatman. The 
weirdness is repelled completely. Pack of enemies? Ah! Adventure awaits! Enemy intends to use a normal attack. This enemy becomes stronger with every hit it suffers. Right, so we don't really want to be using multi-strikes. We want to weaken them up and then do a big hit, right? Let's just stun him. There we go. So we just got a free hit. Tainted Force. You got a weird card. The forces of a weirdness insert them into your hand. And their effects depend on your weirdness. Weird Candle's burn level. Use it or be ready for the consequences of not playing it this turn. Man. <clears throat> Deal one hit for 13 to 19 damage. If not played, gain 25% damage for the next turn. It's gonna do a double strike, so there we go. Kill it, kill it, kill it. I'm glad we didn't stay blocking for too long. Storm of Blades. Deal four hits for 100% damage to random enemies. Fist of Stone. Deal one hit for 300% damage. Reduce enemies' armor by 25 until end of combat. Uh, ooh, both of these, Storm of Blades and Fist of Stone, look so good. Uh, random attack. Deal one hit for 150% damage to a random enemy. Stun a random enemy. Reduce random enemy's armor by 50 this turn. Ooh. Ooh, all of these look so good. And they all take two energy, god damn! But man, that stun is such good mileage if I'm fighting a single enemy. Like a boss. But then the four hits for full damage? I mean, like, uh, my normal hit is like 8 to 12. The small strikes is four to six. So it's like half damage. But this one's full damage, but it's random targets. Again, though, with less target. Deal one hit for 300% damage and reduce it. The Fist of Stone is just, like, way more directed. It's like a direct upgrade to, uh, to, uh, the overhead swing. I guess I'll just take the Fist of Stone because considering, like, when I need to debuff something, it's usually not every enemy, right? It's a specific one. And this is the only one that's a straight-up upgrade. The rest of them have, like, some sort of stipulation to them. Fist of Stone. Yeah, this is the one that's just a straight-up upgrade. Blocking, okay, every hit. Blocking expert. Unused block lasts for one additional turn. That would actually be nice. Beginner's luck. Block every second hit received in a turn. Uh, 
Ooh, opening strike. That's really good. Unused block is all of these are so useful. Block every second hit received in a turn. This would really help like block multi strike attacks, because that's a serious issue. But then saying the unused block lasts for additional turns. I suppose that would help me, like, stack up multiple blocks, but that would also require multiple moves. Uh, but, huh. This is automatic. This requires no energy. This, I could probably start the fight with that big-ass fist strike, and it really helps me against normal enemies. I don't think it's gonna help me in a boss fight. Oh, man. I don't generally use the block for just, like, no reason, I guess. I would probably use it because I know some damage is coming. I think that blocking a second hit would be some really useful defensive utility. Because I usually block, you know, when I see an attack incoming. Uh, not long before. I don't know, but if there's some sort of dodging mechanic, then that might be really good. I suppose that this also lets me preemptively block, like, multiple times. Like, I can stack it up, and the monsters, if I know that they're gonna attack... I don't know, this is a long term... Oh my god, I feel like I'm making such big fucking choices. Oh, so early, too. I suppose that I could try to anticipate that the enemy is going to do multiple hits. And, I mean, it's not far-fetched to say that pretty much every turn you're going to be blocking, right? I don't know, beginner's luck just sounds super good. And while I am a beginner, fuck it. You know what? Let's let's take the ability to, you know, block double strikes. Oh, wait a minute. If I block two times... Or, I'm sorry, if I block two or three times, this, one, this beginner's luck is kind of wasted, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I think this blocking expert will help me during a boss fight. Preservation of my life. I really want that opening strike, though, but... I figure my offense is going to be enough for now. And I can preemptively block, too, because the cards, like, unless I draw it on that turn, it makes it easier to block. Because I would have to... Oh, shit. Can I look better on the map? Yeah, okay. enemy intends to attack all enemies. Right, so here's what I was thinking. So block, block, yeah, blocks only last one turn and unused blocks will be lost. But unused block lasts for one additional turn. So, if I draw it early, because next turn, I might not have a block at all. So, I can block for the next turn. Yeah, I think I made the right choice there. Alright, so I blocked. 
And you see there, I didn't draw anything to block So I just suffered three damage. But I, I'm good now, though. So let's stun that guy. And set up a block for the next turn. Okay, so I set up my block again. And yeah, there we go. This is perfect. I can preemptively set up my shit. Oh my god. Now the question is, do I get to keep my ultimate? Ah, I wanted another level up. I'm greedy as hell. You see a ruined market cart by the side of the road. A man is desperately trying to arrange his wares on whichever surface of the cart is flat enough to hold them. As you approach him, he immediately announces. My lord, I'm sorry. That's all I can give you this week. Who does he take you for? Um. The man looks confused, but who would argue with such a turn of events? He pockets the coins quickly. Oh, I must have mistaken you for somebody else, kind sir. He looks at you intently for a while. But since you refused to take such a hefty sum, perhaps you'd be interested in helping me out. You see, oh, I think I might have an idea on how to double, triple, or even quadruple my earnings. All I'd need is a tiny investment. How much? I think I'd need around 5,000 coins to expand. Holy fuck! To react, he waves his hand and continues. No, no, don't worry. It doesn't have to be paid all at once. It can be an ongoing investment, but it's going to be worth it. I promise. I... How much would you like to... I don't, I don't, I'm sorry, man. I, just, I don't have very much cash left. Blacksmith, pack of enemies. Weird candle is fading. Weirdness is slowly reaching you and twisting your mind. Protect the blacksmith! This enemy intends to debuff. That an enemy intends to heal. This one intends to use a normal attack. Some of that damage. What did he just debuff me with? What 
kind of... Oh! He casted the debuff to Disturbance. a little bit of damage there. Intends to summon an ally. Ooh, okay. We can't have that. This dude intends to debuff. Let's do a basic attack and just slap that ass. There you go. Okay, so block, block, small strikes, there we go. This enemy intends to summon an ally. Okay, so Fist of Stone. Let's fuck him up. Ah! Totem of the Wolf. It increases the damage of all allies at the start of each turn. Now, I could heal that, kill that Faith Healer, which, you know, it would be a very good idea, but I'm trying to focus on getting rid of the uh, offensive enemies. Silence. All healing disabled. Twenty-two to thirty-three. Right, kill her. Yeah, there we go. It's done that one. And... Yeah, let's destroy that totem. Okay, block. Small strikes. Overhead. Fist of Stone. Ah, got it. Fucking love that attack. Totem the Spirit reduces the armor of all enemies at the start of each turn. Ooh, okay, so they they're gonna start like really hurting. Boom. Can I finish him off with a special? Nice! Alright, we're starting to take some damage, so we gotta tank it up a little bit. Gain block for... Gain one block for each enemy alive. Ooh! That combined with the passive that we just got will really help! Nice! Alright, piercing strike. Reduce the enemy's armor by 50 and damage by 10% for the next five turns. 
it's a pretty strong debuff. Chain, multi uh, multiple, no, uh, <clears throat> multiplies the card's effect by the number of cards of the same type played in a row during this turn. Gain one block for each enemy alive. That's super useful. We gotta t we gotta take that because when we got a large number of enemies and we guard, and then the guard lasts for several turns, that makes it super easy on the the fucking RNG for blocking. Very big tactical implications there. A song breaks through the slithering of the weirdness. I have no hope, no home, no gold. Mine is but misty morning cold. Not long afterwards, you come upon a man wearing a blacksmith's apron. Oi, traveler. Wanna buy a good animal? Tis all I have, I'm afraid. Me home, you see, went poof. One minute there, next minute gone. I found myself here with this lump of iron for company. I swear to God, it started talking to me not long ago. Yeah, what do you do? Oh, no. I left that life behind quite a while ago. All I'm interested in these days are rune stones. Rune stones? Yes, containers for the magic of giants. Even though you'll usually find them broken, they're extremely powerful. You can use them to enhance your weapons or armor. I will influence your abilities in different ways. Also, when you find three of the same kind and rarity, you'll be able to fuse them together. This will make them even more powerful. Here, let me give you some. You can try it later. I'd say that since you know what you're looking for, you should be able to find more of them out there. By the way... Uh, reduce the armor of all to enemies by 10. In an armor slot, increase max HP by 30. In, at the end of your turn, deal 1 hit for 5 damage to all enemies. That would help us spam the ultimate quite a lot. But we can only use it once per round, so we gotta be careful. Each card played increases your damage by 5% this turn. Increase your armor by 10. So you could make it as a weapon or an armor. Like... In the first turn of each combat, draw one additional card with cost reduced by one. An armor slot. And it gave me a cracked gar and a cracked calc. In the armor slot, heal for five HP after every combat one. Okay. What if I buy this cracked calc and maybe that'll help me? I'll just wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. You want me in your village? Well, you must first prove you can take care of yourself. Kill ten bears and Are you... just what? fooling for pity's sake. Oh, uh, thank God. Ten bears for? Show me the way. Huh. 
character panel. Rune stones. Cracked gar. Heal 5 HP for every combat one. That's good. Increase weapon damage by 2. Well, that'd be pretty good for the quick strikes. So we don't have a whole lot here. Go this way and explore. What we got here. Oh shit! Okay, abomination. This enemy attacks everyone on the battlefield, including his partners. This enemy is preparing for a special attack. Enemy intends to use a normal attack. Counter. Gain one block for each enemy alive. Let's fucking get it! I don't... Hold on. This enemy's shape and the pulsation of its body suggests you Okay, so it's this thing's like a suicider. This enemy can create barriers to protect its allies. Intends to use a buff. Enemy intends to attack everyone on the battlefield and buff. Twenty-one to nineteen. Or no, twenty-one to twenty-nine. Do it. Nice! Okay, so he'll use the old block first, right? From the last turn? Yeah, there we go. Fist of stone. Boom, shakalaka. All right, so guard two attacks. And yeah, he's beating the shit out of his friend.
Nice! And now do we get some health back from that? Yes! 95! Bard. You hear music. Joyful melodies at that. They sound weirdly inappropriate, drifting through the inscrutable darkness. Then, the source of the sound appears. Oh, a traveler. Come on, sing with me. There are many instruments around, all made from materials at hand. Most have been crafted from sticks and bushes, but you can also see some monstrous body parts here and there. Singing is the only thing that will get us through these strange times, don't you agree? Sing with me. Yeah, sure, why not? You aren't all that bright, are you? My music once filled the halls of... Wait, what was the name of that king? You know, the tall one. Arthur? Yes, grumpy one didn't like jokes, but he paid well. He starts to dance again, clapping on his belly like a drum. Speaking of paying, Master Stranger, do you have any coins to spare? If you do, I might teach you a song or two. Remove one card from the deck. I don't think I have any cards that I really want to get rid of right now. Everything I got is really good and I use all of it. Pick a neutral card? No, I don't I don't think I want any neutral cards either. This enemy will deliver more hits each turn unless it's stunned. There we go. We just... Ah, uh, we got hit. But, in exchange for that, we actually managed to uh, get the Abomination to kill his partner. That didn't feel good, though. I don't like that. tank up into the next turn.
There we go. There we go. So you don't get to keep your ultimate. Okay, double edge. Retaliate with one hit dealing 200% of damage received from the next hit. This is a zero cost. Duplicate. Plays the card again for zero energy. Duplicate the next card played. Uh, double edge is nice. It's just a thing that I can just do. Okay. Blood on fire. Increase the maximum damage you deal by 6. Big hits. Big hits. Whenever you hit an enemy, increase your armor by 10 this turn. Start every combat with 6 ultimate charges. Max damage by 6 sounds nice. Just straight up hurting more. Killing spree can be nice if we had, I don't know, some sort of ultimate synergy, but... I think that that just kind of solidifies the fact that we can get a free attack at the start, but we already got a free attack before. Uh, I like the max damage. The sound of clattering rocks disturbs the ubiquitous silence. Approaching the end of a path, you come upon a child playing with some oddly shaped stones. I'm Futhark. I'm waiting here for my mother. She's been gone for a while now. Or maybe she's going to leave soon? I have a lot of these stones, and while I wait, I play. Do you want some stones so you can play while you wait too? Three random common, one specific common, on, or one random rare. Well, a random rare sounds nice. Three random commons would be like the crap that we have now. And we might get like, I don't know, three and we might be able to make a rare one of the one we like. But a random rare sounds kind of exciting. I mean, it would be pretty awesome to get a random rare. Yeah. 
a cracked nid. Character panel, rune stones. Rare. And weapon slot for every point of unused energy. Increase your damage by 50% next turn. Oh, so you just draw additional cards if energy is left over. I could have taken a bunch of commons because I think I can see that this cracked calc is definitely something that I want to use and upgrade quite a lot. We just got started. It's a mystery why these stones light up and banish the weirdness when people walk by. Many believe Merlin himself invented the runes carved into them. There's also a darker rumor. That they were left by the four dwellers to lure humans into their domain, like moths to the flame. Boost the milestone's range. Banish the weirdness around this milestone. Lose the... Extinguish this milestone. As the flickering light of the weird candle combines with the milestone's faint radiance, the surrounding darkness is pushed even further back. Ah! Faceless Hunter. Yeah, slap him. Oh wow, so it doesn't actually do anything. Absolutely fucking destroyed that monster, by the way. Cracked Gar. So Gar is like damage. Merge? So I've got a polished Gar now. Cracked Nid. I notice that my torch is not depleting. The investment is going to be worth it, I promise. This enemy redirects damage from all of its allies to itself.
if not played game five barrier, huh? So this double edge is not... Can it stack? Yes, it can, actually. So I've stacked up my defense. Shit, I missed that tip. It was probably saying something about it redirecting the damage to him. So, double edge doesn't work on a, uh... Normal attack. You know, I could try to get greedy and kill that big one, but I'm just gonna go for the guaranteed kill. Take one down. Turtle. I just got an achievement of turtle. <laughs> So double edge is might might be a thing that I won't want to remove from my deck of cards. Holy shit, there's a big ass thing over there. Hunters call this ancient skull the Stag Father and lay charms and offerings around it. The legends say the Stag Father takes the dreamers away to join him on a great hunt. A risk sleeping in this dangerous place? Hunt for food. Let's get some food.
This creature is desperate to fight for its life. I feel bad now. But I have to eat. I'm sorry, dear Chan. Ten pieces of meat? Meat. Uh, character panel. Items. Meat. Restore five HP. So we could actually heal up quite nicely with this. We can just fucking chow down. Thank you, dear. Dear Chan. How's this? Uh, I'm gonna let this pass so I can gain 10 points of barrier. And let them just kind of tear each other apart with the damage they're going to deal. There we go. All mothers all the shrines were a common sight across Avalon. Despite their grim existence, settlers were grateful to the goddess, and they had good reason to be. For every ten people who set sail for Avalon, only four would reach the island. Damn. And only one or two would survive the first year. The shrine has faint traces of power lingering in the air. A priestess materializes out of the weirdness and asks what it is that you're looking for. I don't need healing because I'm already full. Rob the shrine. If I know anything about mythological creatures and magic and shit, you do not rob shrines. <laughs> you don't do that. Uh, I'll just ask for her to bless me. The priestess gazes at you with a blank stare. You realize that, despite her phantasmal appearance, the payment for her services must be very real indeed. Hmm. The priestess lays her hands on your chest. You feel a wrenching pain as your body heals much faster than is comfortable. It's hard to get used to this sensation.
I'm not fucking with that thing. That's a big old bitch. Elderly archer? Ah! Attack the enemies! Reduce the damage of all enemies by 75% for this turn. Deranged Red Priest. I'm not going to reduce the damage of enemies because that's actually going to help me out. Free block? I'll take it. Kill your friend. There you go. Good job. Boom, shaka laka. Slam dunk that bitch. One hit for uh, 24 to 44 damage. Now, let me just get a couple of blocks in before I do that. Nice. Level 5. Target block. Block the next hit of a chosen enemy. First slash. One hit for 75% damage, but it's free. Gain 5 blocks, but lose next turn lose 1 energy. That's a bit... That, that's that's kind of situational, but it, that is very valuable to us, because that'd mean we'd have two full turns to expend all of that. Like, it's going to protect us all of this turn and the next one. But I think first slash is nice. We can get some, something for free for our offense. You find an elderly archer sitting near a small fire. He tends the flames with care and tenderness. Oh, a visitor. I haven't seen a friendly human face for a long time. It's getting lonely out here. With a gesture, he invites you to sit with him. Beautiful, isn't it? Not much. I tend to the fire and watch over this place. Since I failed to fulfill my task, I need to sit here and watch the fire. I don't want to, but I have to. I'm certain something terrible will happen if I stop. Well, that's definitely a story for another time, but I do appreciate you asking. As you sit by the archer, you notice that this fire doesn't behave like a regular fire. 
It has the power to push weirdness away, just like a men here or a weird candle. Moreover, you suddenly notice that the man's legs are rooted into the ground with blue veins. The veins stretch from his feet into the fire pit. You form a question in your mind, but when you look into the man's eyes, you realize there's no point in asking it. His gaze is absent, and his movements are barely noticeable. You decide to leave it for another time, and turn your eyes towards the fire. The flames flicker with a weird, magical rhythm. Lose 10% HP? Remove one card from the deck. Wish for experience. Lose 10% HP and gain a level! After we just leveled up? Uh, wish for a new skill. And a random legendary card. Ooh. Level ups are pretty valuable. I mean, legendary card, yeah, but I'm imagining there's like even cooler stuff out there once we level up. And getting leveled up this early? Hell yes. Because we can get a card from uh, leveling up. Fuck it. Ah! Ah! The pain! Gain one block this turn, one block next turn. Double block. Nice. Yes. That's good. Deal one hit for 75% damage, and if the enemy intends to attack, stun it. That's, that's really efficient. Both of these are super duper efficient. This is efficient because it's two moves. And, like, since it protects us, it's like two blocked attacks since the blocks last an extra turn of duration. Crippling attack, though, is really nice for the offense. And since I'm thinking I'm going to remove double edge, I don't know. Crippling attack is super nice, and I'm imagining there's going to be some enemies that are just like, Stun me! Or else I'll fuck you up! Let's go the alpha striking route. Well-maintained body. Heal 25% of your missing HP after each victorious combat. Start every combat with two additional energy. Gain two ultimate charges. Well-maintained body is really, really good. That's going to keep me going if I take some damage. So I can worry a little bit less about blocking. And I have a little bit more leniency. Come on, enemies. First slash. Then I'll block for next turn. So 
next turn it will do a special attack, right? Every time you merge a runestone, you earn some runestone dust. Currency used to buy permanent upgrades in the blacksmith's shop. Hey. He holds one weapon in his hand and has one weapon on his back. This strikes you as a bit excessive. Unless he's a traveling weaponsmith. The blood covering his leather jerkin is not his own. It seems he can take care of himself. Before you get any stupid ideas, I used to be a master at arms at Halfway. Trained many young warriors there. If you've gold to spare, I could teach you a thing or two. Hmm. Double-edged isn't really hurting me too badly right now, and then with the uh, well-maintained body, we can actually afford to take damage sometimes. So let's let's leave. Uh... Oh, raw power. Excuse me. Rapid attack. Deal six hits for 33% damage to random enemies. Each hit reduces the armor's enemy's armor by five. Small strikes is really nice. Uh, no cards there I'm really wanting to add to my group. I feel like I'm trying to balance accepting too many cards because my energy is only like three. Should have used the Fist of Stone. Enemies. 
Got him. Fortune seller. Good day, stranger. Are you in need of some guidance? Yes. Yes, I am. Question asked by an eerie yet elegant woman who's just appeared in front of your eyes. She's of indiscernible age, but looks strangely disturbing, standing peacefully within the weirdness. You can withdraw the course of your destiny and change the fate of your future fights. Come closer and see for yourself. Yes. Offer 10 HP and gain 1 energy. Is this something that's a one-time use, or can I repeatedly reuse it? These look like things that are just, like, one-time use, right? I mean, like, I wouldn't imagine you'd be able to spam full charge, right? But I can really do with being able to sacrifice some HP for a weird candle, because I, I've, I've got lots of resources with that. faint radiance the surrounding darkness is pushed even further back good day stranger I can't spend everything right now to afford that Golem. He intends to use a weak attack and buff. He's got quite a lot of armor. Let's double edge this. Overhead him. Block crippling attack. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? What is this? Wait. Awakened Golem? Oh, it's a separate enemy. enemy intends to use a normal attack. Intends to attack all enemies in buff. Done that big bitch. Alright, let's. There we go. Now we can see the enemies better. Um. 
How many attacks are we facing here? Shit, what if you... Enemy intends to use a strong attack and buff. Counter. Block for each enemy that's alive. That's nice. Gain one block and one energy. Draw one card. Lose ten armor until the end of combat. Alright, stun that big fucker because he's going to go for a multi-strike with three attacks. Spawn will spawn a, spawn a new enemy after being stunned or after suffering several hits. Got him! Seize the opportunity. Deal one hit for... 18 to 33. Overhead the shit out of him. Uh. Seize the opportunity. Got him! We can do this. We can take this golem down. Fist of Stone. Um, it's block.
blocked all three of those. gonna hurt. Ah! Shakalaka! <laughs> there we go. Oh, I took so much fucking focus on that. Oh, that 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 could have been close. We used up so many fucking weird the candles. The golem collapses and shatters into thousands of pieces at your feet. You feel a strange surge of power in the air. Suddenly, a familiar creature appears. Good. That was. Good. Congratulations. That's that you fucking goat again. You recognize this voice. It's the goat-legged creature you've met before. You see, the problem with weirdness is that it's an uncontrollable mess. It's the something you want. Really, really want. Snap your fingers. There you go. There it is, right in front of you. He looks at you, clearly unimpressed by the fact that you even exist. If you're Avalonian, that is. You, people of the homelands, never found out how to control this power. And the problem is that you tried, because obviously you did. You know which human emotion is the strongest. Love, hate, anger. I know that fear is definitely the strongest human emotion because it's primal. It's, it keeps you alive. That said, there are some things that make you no longer feel fear. Ah, uh, nah, that's, that, I'm kidding. Everybody has a, has fear of something, eventually. Or has felt fear. Not everybody's felt love. Not everybody's felt, felt anger, happiness, sadness, and whatnot. But, yeah, it's definitely fear. That is the very strongest human emotion of them all. It has probably, arguably, the most primal power over everything. It makes you avoid predators. It's definitely fear. Yes, and every answer was correct. All of these emotions made an impact on the force that surrounds us, that envelops this island, and it tried to give back. 
You hate somebody? Wish them death? Snap of your fingers? Then here you go. A clear personification of your feelings standing right in front of you. However, since you're not a four-armed Avalonian wizard, you can't control it, can you? He pauses, his expression one of hesitance. Maybe he said too much. Anyway, as I've said before, good job. There are three more of those for you to get rid of, and then we can call it a day. This day, this time, in this timeline. Also, another path opened for you, with another surprise at the end. Oh, and before you go, I have even more good news for you. Yes, you guessed right, you deserve a reward. Remove a card from the deck, or take a special passive. Every tenth card in play, played in combat increases your damage by 10% until the end of combat. After killing an enemy, heal yourself for 2 HP. Draw two more cards in the first turn of combat. Power circulation sounds cool if you were going for, like, a bunch of free stuff. Like, you had a shit ton of, uh, like, zero cards, which we don't. Draw two more cards in your first turn of combat. It, you know, we do rely a lot on counter and stuff like that, so I'm thinking that having this head start at the start helps us get started on blocking right. Because... If your defense ain't right in this game, you're gonna die. And it's very hard to heal. Turn to your village. Ah, we got stuff to do over here. Treasure Guardian? Ah! This enemy drains HP from its allies, gets stronger when they die, and replaces them with summons. This enemy intends to attack all allies. This enemy intends to use a normal attack. A pitiful soul claimed by a soul harvester. This enemy becomes stronger with every hit it suffers. So double edge only works when they sma- oh shit, I dropped my headphones. Eh. Double edge seems to only work when they uh, when we smack the uh, what is it when we get hit on our HP. Boom! Damn! I didn't kill it.
Alright. We dealt some crazy damage to him. Oh my god. Jesus, that was a fucking brutal fight. Shield Breaker. Deal one hit from 100% damage. Reduce the enemy's armor by 10 until the end of combat. This is a straight up upgrade from our normal attack skill, so that's nice. Gain one energy, lose 25% damage this turn. Gain one block next turn, draw an additional card. Well, a straight up upgrade or a free action? I think I'll take the free action because I can just I can use that after I'm done attacking. No matter what. But that shield breaker, I want that next. You found what was protected by this beast. A stash of gold and jewelry. When you filled your pockets up to the brim with gold, three ethereal chests materialize in front of you. Bringing your hand towards one of them causes the others to shimmer and blur. Big pile of word shards. Unlock a new armor slot. Unlock a new weapon slot. Oh, armor slot. Armor slot. Good day, stranger. I think we've gotten everything throughout this place. Should have left this mother altar for now. Let's return to the village. Oh! So I have to use the portal, I can't just walk back. Let's challenge this guy in the weird.
Cracked Ethel. Increase my armor by 10. Each card played increases your damage by 5% this turn. Well, I guess that's as far as we're going in this direction. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Let's get back to the village. We healed a little bit off of that fight. And you know what? I think this is a great place to end the first part. So, thank you everybody for watching.